Hey guys, gals, and Legionnaires, Rykon here, coming at you with an update video for a number of series on the channel. The first being Skyrim. Now, I said to a lot of you that it would be here this weekend, but unfortunately, it won't be. I'm sorry, it just needs a little bit more finessing. There are some there's some really dialogue heavy scenes in it uh, when you see it you will know what I was talking about a uh, little teaser for you there uh, and some pretty big shit goes down so it's it's gonna be a hell of an episode so that's something to look forward to but unfortunately that won't be coming around until next weekend what can you expect in the meantime well we will still have the doom roleplay next week we'll have the division and we will have everything else coming back now everything else that is apart from necropolis i have some unfortunate news for any fans in the necropolis series i have really been enjoying playing it myself and i know a lot of you have been enjoying watching as well but unfortunately after the last episode i ran into some major issues with the game now it was a combination of things a windows 10 update an nvidia update and an update to necropolis itself and for some reason i don't know why but that has made the game run like an absolute dog that and for some reason it's now unable to capture the game with shadow play actually in the game itself i need to use desktop capturing which never runs as well as it should and so unfortunately for some reason the game has started dropping frames just all over the place and for a game where you need to have that kind of level of finesse and control like a souls game where you need to be able to dodge at the right time attack at the right time it makes it really really difficult to and it also makes it really difficult to watch and so with a heavy heart as i never like to end a series early necropolis is well it's going to the necropolis it's going to the graveyard it's going to be dead it's going to be buried now it doesn't mean that it will be for forever but well for the time being it will be because at the moment the game is unplayable unrecordable for me which is a damn shame now cataclysm and room world where have they been well i've been busy on a few other projects at the moment but they are going to be returning this week however i had some issues with them as well now those of you that were around for the town hall will remember that i had to do it live because we had a lot of issues with my microphone at the time those were all over room world and cataclysm now for room world that isn't as much of a problem because it saves after each episode for me whenever i exit whenever i go out the game it saves it's as a separate save file now i would never go back and kind of cheese it i mean you all know you've seen the shit that's gone down in rimworld i very easily could have cheesed it and we haven't but what that means is that i am able to go back to episode 11 episode 12 i think it is and just start from that point again luckily i didn't play too far ahead and because it is a random game the same things aren't going to happen but unfortunately for cataclysm however there is a problem i did play a little bit further ahead thankfully though nothing too crazy happened and i was also running to some weird issues with the game starting to really 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 slug so i'm hoping that that is going to be all fixed and all better now i'm going to be recording that in just a few moments so i will find out but essentially the long and short of it is that you can expect to have cataclysm and RimWorld back on your screens. Now, for the time being, I'm gonna be scaling back the division to just one episode a week at the moment, just because things are pretty wild. But if I start getting ahead of myself again, I will increase the release of those as well. Now, those of you that came along to the No Man's Sky live stream or watch the VOD afterwards, thank you very much for coming along. I had a lot of fun. However, I will never, ever, ever do a live stream of a game before, before playing it. That was the problem with No Man's Sky, is that because of the single save file, I just couldn't get my hands on it, I couldn't do any tests beforehand, and man, holy crap, those day one launch issues were interesting to say the least but we got through and i had a really good time i really enjoyed myself it was a it was a bit of a laugh and i hope no man's sky could become a kind of game where we could do that at the moment i've been i have been playing no man's sky by myself i have really really been enjoying it but the problem that i'm running into is that well it just i i mean i enjoy it i personally enjoy it However, I just don't know how interesting it is to watch as terms of a long form series, even, even with editing, even if I was able to cut it up rather than having it live. It's one of those games that I enjoy playing and I just don't know how entertaining it is to watch. Now, that might be something that the rest of you might be able to answer because, I mean, I enjoy playing it, but I think it's one of those games where you play it your own way and 
while it's fun for you to play it that way, it really isn't enjoyable to watch that way. So, I don't know, I'd like to hear your thoughts on No Man's Sky, what you all think of the game, and what you think of it as a potential series. Now, there is one other series that I haven't covered, and don't worry, I haven't forgotten. Fallout 4 and Riley. Now, I haven't forgotten about Riley. She is still there. However, I am working on a series on Fallout 4 at the moment and that means that i can't jump back and forth between the two well i can but it's very very difficult to do so i have a lot of mods installed for this other series that i couldn't use in the survival series with riley so i will be coming back to riley but after i've worked on this series now what is the series well you'll be happy to know it is a role play series and I mentioned this briefly in the town hall, but this is going to be a prologue of sorts for our main story. This first series is going to be a four episode kind of mini series of sorts, each episode being around about 10 minutes long. It's going to be following a character that will have, well, pretty decent significance on our main Fallout 4 roleplay in time. Now, whether that person becomes a companion, an enemy, or something else, well, that remains to be seen but just know that these stories do have really big significance for the main role play itself and i think you'll like them because they're a little bit of a different style than i usually do they're more of a machinima so as far as a backstory for the series goes i think it's a really good format for them at this stage i'm looking at doing about two to three different series so each one being about four episodes long so all up there are going to be a decent number of episodes of some really awesome fallout 4 content seriously it's probably some of the work that i am most proud of and i can't wait for you all to see it now at this stage it's looking like the first episode is going to release in september but i will keep you up to date as to when and where that is going to come out i've been given another opportunity by tgn to screen it on their main channel which is a pretty freaking big deal i'm really excited about it and i hope you are too now i will be posting a bazillion updates about it so i will be absolutely sure that you don't miss out on it but i will also be linking it to a playlist that will be on the main page of my channel so don't worry there will be literally no way that i will let you miss out on this because i really 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 want you to see it well i think that's about us all wrapped up and up to date apart from the third anniversary of the channel which is coming up on the 21st now i mentioned in the town hall that i would love to do a live stream event playing with you all in some kind of multiplayer game so i'd love to hear some suggestions as to what you would like to play so hit me up in the comment section let me know what kind of games you'd like to play and you know we'll just have a big marathon we'll have a hell of a time now in terms of when we'll be able to do that i'm not 100 percent sure yet unfortunately i do have a lot of work still on for the next two weeks so I'm going to try and fit it in in a time that's going to be convenient for most of us. But I really want to be able to celebrate the third anniversary in style. It may not be on the actual day, but we will celebrate all the same. I'll be also launching the Patreon campaign right around that time, so I'll have a lot of news about that as well. Alrighty, thank you all for sitting through a Rikon rant. I have been Rikon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.